and look at Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3 and Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour. A certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple uh, which is called Beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alms. In other words he asked for a donation, he asked for some money. And um, Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. In other words, I haven't got any money. But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the, hand, uh, by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. What a wonderful situation he was in now. He, would, he was able to walk, which before he was a lame man, he couldn't walk at all. And then that, all of a sudden he can walk through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and, um, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. He was so happy. And I believe that every time the Lord Jesus Christ healed somebody of their physical ailment, whatever their physical disease was, whatever the problem was, I believe they were saved as well. In other words, they received forgiveness for their sins. And that's what God wants to do for you, this other, my friend. He wants to forgive you of all of your sins, but the only way he can do that is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend, your soul will be saved. If you don't, your soul will remain in a lost condition heading down to hell because your sins have not been forgiven. But I'm here to tell you this other, that your sins can be forgiven. And it's only on one basis and one basis alone, that is the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross. When he was crucified for you and for me, can be your saviour this other, my friend. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? Will you be like this lame man who could walk? by the power of God, the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, they said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And it, the deal was done. He was saved by the grace of God, I believe. He became a believer. He was a, he was a saved man. He received forgiveness for his sins. What about you? Have you received forgiveness for your sins? Or are you still on your way down to hell? God does not want that for you. He wants to save your precious soul. You have a soul that needs to be saved. And that soul can only be saved if you put your faith in the person and the finished work of Jesus Christ. When he came to save, to seek and to save that which was lost. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which uh, was sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man uh, which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. When Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so in earnestly on us? As though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, which hath glorified his son Jesus, uh, whom he delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, 
when he was determined to let him go, but they, you denied the Holy One and the just, and desired of murder that is Barabbas to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him hath, hath God, sorry, hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of ye all. And now, brethren, I what that through ignorance he did it. In other words, I know that through ignorance he did it, as did also your rulers. Those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That is, repent ye therefore and be turned around. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive, and must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall he hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people yea and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning every one of you from his iniquities. Now what does Jesus mean? It means Jehovah the Saviour or the salvation of Jehovah. If you're ever going to be saved, that's be God's work. And God has moved. God has sent forth his son born of a woman born under the law to redeem them that were under the law that you and I could receive forgiveness for our sins so that we can enter into heaven. You see, we cannot be in heaven apart from Christ, apart from his finished work upon the cross and our right response to it. You can just drive past and say, she'll be right, mate, it's all good, but it's not. It's all bad because we're sinners in the sight of God when we're born in this world. But there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're going down to hell, and God does not want you to go down to hell. That's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. Is He your Saviour? Have you put your faith in Him? The one who to know is life eternal. Yes, eternal life is found in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Apart from Him, we're dead in our trespasses and in our sins, heading down to hell because of our sins that have not been forgiven. But as I said, I'm here to tell you that your soul can be saved this hour by coming in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. There is life for a look at the crucified one. There is life at this moment for thee. Then look, sinner, look unto him 
unto him who is nailed to the tree. Yes, Christ died for our sins according to scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving Saviour who wants to save your soul here this hour, my friend. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Even a little child can understand the fact that we're sinners in the sight of God. We've done things wrong in the sight of God. That means we're going down the hill. But God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you in heaven. And that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you and for me. So that anyone who puts their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's ever and eternally too late. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.